guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is march 9 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and guys please pray for many people out there in haiti i mean we have very important information it seems like the sleeping giant they need to step in now uh, you have these group escaped prison and they are carrying some very powerful GUN. And they are saying a lot of this GUN is coming from South Florida. All right. So there's been a lot of talk that it's a possibility. Again, I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, the rumors is going around. That there's a possibility that uh, Ron will have to send, again, the boots out there in Haiti. Since all the GUN is coming from Florida into the hands of these group. I don't know how this is going to work, guys. But uh, there's been a lot of information coming out. You got pictures coming out. These group uh, of lawlessness, they're like armies. I don't know where in the world... Again, someone is supplying them. Put it like that. Someone is giving them all these uh, very powerful uh, equipments. So once again, uh, it says after thousand broke out of you know what, this region has fallen into lawlessness. You guys been hearing it from me. I've been talking about all these lawlessness for the last couple of years. Scripture tells us that in the end time they will come. The PM declared a you know what. And impose curfew, but this has not stemmed the rising of these lawless. Please share this video. I want to bring this up really quick. All these information is coming out. Look at this one here. Look at this one. Piling up in the streets. In the streets. In the streets, you could just walk down the street they, all over the place, all over the place. To them, it's just a normal day. Just being stacked up. Just walk down and, you know, at first, it's like, whoa, you know, this is some serious stuff. But to them, so what's next? I want to bring this one up really quick. Please share this video. Guys, I just posted a video not too long ago. And the platform wouldn't accept the video. I posted to this one. Grand Supreme News. The Rise of Warrior. The platform would not accept it. Something is happening in, um, in the Rotten Apple. All right. That video is uploaded my Patreon. And again, guys, there's only $1 a month. That's the lowest of the lowest of the lowest. If you guys want to check out the video, again, it's only for those who are monthly uh, subscribers uh, that pays that $1 a month. So again, the link to my Patreon will be in the comments box, but I cannot upload it here. It just won't accept it. So something is going on in the, uh, in the Apple. And there's going to be a lot more that is going to go to the rotten apple. The camouflage. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're going to be sending a lot more. So uh, something is going on right now in that region. So check out the video. It's in my Patreon. Once again, the Sleeping Giant leader won't commit Sleeping Giant soldiers to go to that region in the Caribbean. But maybe Ron should step up and send his, you know who, the soldiers. Especially since the, oh wow, the G-U-N Shine State is the chief source of all these G-U-N that is being sent to Haiti. It's great to see Ron. Has found his okay. I'm gonna skip that. 
so basically again guys i just wanted to bring that one part up so basically what they're trying to say is the reason why haiti is seeing all these is because sunshine state uh is basically the open doors is shipping all the gun now i'm not saying ron is doing that i'm not saying none of that type of stuff but remember guys there's always uh loopholes there's always all that type of stuff going on it's happening in the sudden too it's happening out there too you got them groups they have gun they have all these things All right, so I want to pull something up really quick here, guys. Please pray for so many people out there. This is a uh, this is a very important video. Please share it. All right, so it says here on a ride through these lawlessness controlling the streets of that uh, region on Friday passed an improvised uh, barricade. The motorcycle uh, taxi reached a crossroad. First came, oh man, the smell of something burning. Then the sight, oh. Guys, you see this? You see this? Is all in the streets. The B O D I E S in the streets. Wow. Oh my, my, my. Guys, again, I'm showing you the article, okay? I'm not gonna be reading all that, but wow, that is very, very shocking. Mm. what's next what's next I mean that region uh, something needs to be done they need to send uh, the camouflage or something when I say camouflage I'm talking about soldiers so once again you have certain people here sounding the alarm saying they are all over the streets the B-O-D-I-E-S all over the streets now from what I heard uh, they're saying that uh, Florida needs to kind of uh, be prepared because, uh, because there's a possibility these group might head towards Florida they need to go somewhere and uh, it's just to uh, lawlessness going on in that region and guys Florida uh, give me a second here I mean that's not too far, uh, too far. Let me pull up a map here. All right, here's a map. Look at this map. All right, so this is a map, right? This is Haiti. All this stuff is happening in this region. All right. So you guys know the Dominican Republic. And Haiti kind of share the same uh, land, but it's, it's kind of split. So they got this part, uh, Dominican Republic, and then Haiti got this part, which is the western. So they could just, on a boat, head towards that region. And that's what's going on right now, guys. And so many of them is also heading towards... Whoops. They're heading towards... The Southern, all right, where Texas is at. Mm. Now, guys, a lot of this information, I'm going to share it on my Twitter page, all right? I'm just showing you guys what's really going on here. Basically, uh, they have lost control of that region.
Here's another one. Once again, you have the uh, the news report that a uh, certain group broke into the port in that region, the capital, and lawlessness and so many things are going on. It follows uh, strikes by lawlessness on the airport and stations and prison this week. They are pushing for the PM removal. Now, once again, these group uh, lawlessness, I mean, they no joke. They are out there. They basically uh, telling everyone, stay inside and this and that. But uh, uh, a three-day state of, you know what, has now been extended by a month. The Caribbean Port Services, the operator of the port, cited some uh, events going on as it announced the decision to suspend all services. Basically, everything has been put to a stop. Everything just completely stopped. Mm. Wow. So you have more than 20 trucks carrying vital equipment and some other supplies and food are stuck at the port according to uh, the UN which said it has suspended its marine time transport service siting and security you have so many innocent one out there they need these things I don't know. I got a feeling that there's a possibility that uh, the sleeping giant is going to step in. There's a possibility the sleeping giant might step in. So sleeping giant, here we go. Uh, sleeping giant secretary, you know who, Mr. Tony, spoke to Mr. Henry to ask for an urgent transition. A senior, the sleeping giant official, said. Once again, uh, Tony spoke with the land prime minister about the urgent need to accelerate transition to a broader more exclusively uh, GOV today so they're trying to kind of uh, get involved in this one here guys they're trying to help out and kind of stop this uh, this rising event a movement that is happening right now once again, you have these lawlessness, racked city, stepped up their strikes when this person left for a regional summit last week. Once again, Mr. Henry, the Prime Minister, attempted to fly back to the capital on Tuesday, but ended up in the sleeping giant territory of Puerto Rico instead. He's in Puerto Rico. Wow. That's how bad it is. I mean, you can't even be in your own region. He could not land. He could not land in his own region because its international airport was closed. That's the soldiers' uh, repelled attempt by the GUN men to seize it. They have taken control of the region. Wow. So once again, you had the civil aviation authorities in the neighboring Dominican Republic also turn to the prime minister plane away, saying that they had not been provided with necessary flight plan. So Dominican Republic uh, told the prime minister, uh-uh, no. And to think about it, that's pretty smart for uh, Dominican Republic because again, DR, and uh, Haiti, this, I mean, they share the same land. It's just this, like, a, a barrier. So, um, basically, uh, Prime Minister went to Puerto Rico. Once again, Mr. Henry has not given any public statement since he visited Kenya, where he met with the uh, leader to salvage a deal for the East 
uh, African country to lead a multinational force to help restore order in his land. He's trying. He's trying to fix it. He's trying to fix it. The two leaders sign a reciprocal uh, agreement which paves the way for 2000 okay so he's gonna get some help on this one here he's gonna get some uh some enforcement to be sent to haiti but the kenya opposition uh says he will challenge the deal in court so he's uh, he's going around different re uh, regions he's seeking for help But those group, they have GUN, and a lot of those GUN is coming from the state of Florida. Now again, it's not, it's not uh, Florida's fault and all that. Is that you know again, guys? When it comes to stuff like this, there's always that loophole. Meanwhile, you have several Kenyan uh, enforcement who had volunteered for deployment, had opted out for this whole. Oh, they're saying, we're not going. We are not going. We're not going. Wow. Once again, the lawlessness in the capital have taken advantage of the prime minister uh, absence to unleash a savior. Man. So while he's out there trying to seek help, you got those lawless taking over. Wow. The rest, I'm going to leave the link in the comments box. The leader of the lawless group, his name, his nickname is Barbecue. You know, Barbecue, where you barbecue and, well, they call him Barbecue. He is the main one. Wow. So, guys... Please continue to pray for many out there that, that are innocent. Uh, they were told to stay inside. But they need things. They need, you know, water and stuff like that. But man, um, what's next? Who's going to help them? You saw DR, Dominican uh, Republic, told the PM, uh-uh, you're not landing here. You go somewhere else. We don't want to get involved in that. Don't don't drag us. Then you have a uh, Kenya enforcement that was like, "Hey, man, we don't want to be involved either." Time is ticking. The PM is trying to get some help. No one is there to help him. What about Mr. Burns? Mr. Burns is like, "I don't got time for that, man. I got uh, the yellow and blue. They are my people." <laughs> uh oh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I just posted a video not too long ago about uh, very important uh, shelves being empty for this summer. It's very important you guys check that video out. The link will be in the comments box. Please pray for many people out there, guys. Uh, we are seeing the rise of lawlessness happening in various places around the world. Make sure you check out the Patreon. The link will be in the description box. I just post a video on Patreon. It's only for those who pay monthly one dollar a month that's the that's the cheapest i'm doing the cheapest out of everyone on the platform i'm doing one dollar a month i'm not doing no 10 15 20 dollars a month one dollar a month we get you access to some of these videos guys um so again please continue to pray for many people thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me louis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.